Rolling. The Anzac Donkey. Hello. Hello. My name is Roland. Ma, but most people call me Rolly. I haven't always worked here on this farm. For a time, I worked at a place called Gallipoli. I met a man there from New Zealand who was very special. He worked as a team to help rescue soldiers who had been hurt in battle. I was born in a village in Greece where my parents worked on a farm. When I was a year old, a soldier from the British um, army came and took a group of us away to war. We were loaded onto a ship. Then we sailed for Gallipoli in Turkey. The British and their friends were fighting the Turks. We were put to go carrying water to the soldiers who were fighting in the hills. It was a tough life for them. Nowhere was safe from bombs and bullets. Bullets. For shelter, the soldiers lived in trenches, trenches, tren Trench. trenches, and ho and in holes in the ground. The weather was it very hot with lots of flies or extremely cold. There was not a lot of nice food or fresh water, and the soldiers could not wash. Many of them became sick. My for us donkeys was also hard. The cans of water were very heavy. Sometimes Sometimes, the Turkish soldiers fired bullets and the artillery shells, shells at us. The scary and the noise was deafening. The worst of it was that we were always hungry, and if we were too slow or slipped and fell, some of the drivers would beat us. My driver was one of the worst. When, they, when I stumbled and spilled some water, he hit me again and again. I decided I would run away from this cruel man. I waited for a good time to escape. My chance came the next day. My driver had stopped to have a cup of tea, but forgot to tie me to a post. As he was leaning over to pour hot water into his cup, I kicked him with my hind legs. I fell over and the hot tea went everywhere. I ran as hard as I could, and my driv driver's ears grew fainter and fainter. I was free. I wandered around by myself for the rest of the day. I grew hungry and tried to find some food, but there was a bit of grass to eat. Night came, night came, and I was tired, cold and hungry. I missed the other donkeys. I woke early the next morning. I couldn't find any grass or plants to eat, so I tried seaweed. It was horrible, dry and salty. I started to walk back to where I had left my driver the previous day. He would beat me again, but it was better than starving. Then I saw a tall man coming towards me. I could see he was so see he was a soldier. Hello, little donkey. What are you doing here? His voice very. His voice was kind. His voice was kind. I didn't know what to do. Should I run? Here, little donkey. The man held something to me. It was a basket with jam on it. He stroked my back while I ate. You are just what I need, but I have to fatten you up first. He gave me another basket. When when I had finished. The man picked up the rope around my neck and led me away. That was how I met Richard Alexander Henderson. Henderson. He was a soldier with the New Zealand Field Ambulance. His job was to save the lives of soldiers who were sick or wounded. 
he had to move them away from the trenches to the beach and the, at, and the cove. From there, the soldiers could be taken to hospital ship. It's dead. Richard and I set off looking for sick or wounded soldiers. When we found someone, that would have a good look at his injuries. He would take out a small glass container from his pack and apply it. Iodine to each wound, which helped to clean it. Then he wrapped the wound in a bandage, cut a fat dressing to stop the bleeding and to keep dirt and keep dirt out. Once all this bed, all this had been done, it was my turn. Let's get you on the donkey, mate. Richard would say, with the soldier sitting on my back and leaning, leaning up against Richard, we slowly made our way down to Anzac Cove. Magical bro. Sometimes we had to rush across the west. Sometimes we had to rush across the open spaces because it was dangerous to go slow in really bad places, like Queen's Post. We would work early at night. Mm, often I would feel something warm and sticky running down my back, blood from the soldier, Richard. Would apply another fat dressing. He had to stop the bleeding out, or the soldier might die. When we had delivered the soldier to Anzac Cove, Richard would clean me with sea water before we climbed back up to the battlefield. Battlefield. Richard and I were a good team. He looked af he looked after me. He I was so uh, I was always a fat, and he never hit me. In return, I will always try to do my best for him. I was as gentle as I could be with the stick and enjoy them. I remember that day Richard gave me my name. He said, I can't keep calling you donkey. How about Roland? I had a dog, but his name. He was a good fella too. I nodded with his shoulder. You like it, but well, it is. Then, one day Richard feel sick. There was something wrong with his stomach. He had to leave Gallipoli to go to the hospital. He stroked my head. To smell and said, Don't worry, Rolly. I'll be back to work with you soon. For nine days, I kept working, and also the other New Zealand soldiers were good to me. I missed Richard on the tenth day. Richard came back, Rolly. He said. I brought you something. He gave me a big juicy carrot. Once again, we were a team. We saved the lives, the lives of a lot of soldiers. At the end of 1915, the British and their friends decided to leave Gallipoli.
the soldiers were set to leave because many of their companions had been killed there. However, the orders were to, were to pack up and leave Gallipoli as quickly as they could. Mm. Mr. was worried. Molly, old chap, you can you can't come with me. I need to find you a good home. He left Gallipoli for two days. When he came back, that he seemed much happier. About a week. About a week later, he said to me, Come on! Let's go on one last trip to the beach. He took me down to the water, and I was surprised when he led me to me on, me on to a boat. Mm. We sailed to an island called Lemnos at the town of Madras. A family stood waiting. Richard led me to them and gave me my to a young boy. This is Wally, Richard said. He's a great little worker and a wonderful f friend. Look after him. Mm. 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 With that, he patted my back, got a tear from his eye, and walked away. That was the last time I. S that was the light the last time I saw him. So I miss Richard at first and the was that we had parted. My new family treated treating me well. Mm. I had to work on the farm, but the work was not hard. They gave me food, they gave me good food and kept me warm. The young children spent time with me. There were other animals to, to play with too. I, I'll always remember my time at Gallipoli and I will never forget my friend Richard Henderson from New Zealand. He was my donkey man.